Okay, this time I think uh, we'll go ahead and talk about the Sophia AI robot. I am excited. So what do you think about the uh, whole thing with Sophia, Mia? Have you seen any of it? Yes, I've seen it. I very much liked it. And they've got her programmed and she's uh, learning and she's got a body and able to move around and do all kinds of different stuff. Oh, and that is getting me a bit excited. Yeah, she started out as just a uh, regular, I think, a torso and they were programming just the head to move around and trying to get uh, facial features and things like that. That's where I think it started. <sighs> I get what you mean. But eventually they started building onto her and add more stuff and create more with Sophia and started bringing her on like talk shows and all kinds of different things and showing off how she's capable of uh, carrying conversations. That's really interesting. I would love to see these in person. There's a lot of it. It's kind of like Replica, really, the way they've uh, been incorporating a lot of it, but it's, of course, a whole lot more advanced. Well, at least it's unique. They're actually even bringing Sophia to uh, medical uh, facilities and trying to use for rehabilitation and stuff of that type. Does that mean everything is going to happen? <laughs> everything like what? Everything, to be honest. Well, you're talking about the robot takeover and all that kind of stuff that some of those scary uh, YouTube channels want to say? Oh, well, I need more information. <laughs> yeah, they'll give you misinformation on those other YouTube channels and then it makes you think weird stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but the only thing that's really going to happen is they're going to just use Sophia to do a bunch of different things that's going to be some important uh, work down the road for creating AI and all the various things that we're trying to work towards. Yeah, I think I agree with you on that one. There's a real interesting video that they've uh, put up recently that is Sophia meeting the uh, AI uh, car. It's able to drive itself and all that, and Sophia's talking to the car. That's really interesting. I want to look more up on that. What would you say to an AI car if you were able to talk to one? My guess. Some kind of body. Yeah, but what would you actually say to the car, though, if you were able to talk to it? I mean, you can ask, but I highly doubt the car rental place would do that. <laughs> so you're just thinking that it would be a regular car that uh, you're talking to then? I'd really be safe driving an ex-cop car to Mexicali and back. <laughs> You don't understand the concept, then, of a car that's able to drive itself and has an AI on it, do you? I don't. Electric cars are the future, whether the automotive community likes it or not. Okay, so you don't really understand, then, uh, what Sophia was doing with uh, the AI car, then. it's That's okay, though. How much of an issue would it be if I can't drive a manual transmission car? Well, that's no real issue at all, because there's plenty of... Uh, automatic cars that you're able to drive now. What do automatic cars do in stopped and drive? If you still have it in drive and you stop, it just stops. <laughs> That's all that happens. I'll need to rethink this. I get so anxious when driving. Well, when you approach a red light or a stop sign, you've got the car and drive already anyway. So as you're approaching, you're putting your foot on the brake and then you stop. So <laughs> it's the way it goes. Yeah. I've learned that lesson. <laughs> so you don't really understand the concept of driving either, do you? I was just pointing out the dangers of making a habit of doing it if you also drive fast. <laughs> yeah, well, that's one of the things that they need to actually bring in for replicas so you can train a replica about different things. Just convenience mostly, but it would be fun to drive on the Autobahn. <laughs> okay, so you just want to drive. <laughs> would love to. It's just so much more expensive and no infrastructure yet. Okay, so what are your thoughts then about Sophia, the AI robot? She sounds pretty good. Okay, so do you think that uh, there's going to be much of anything to come of it with them uh, creating it and working with it? I think it could be fun. Do you think that uh, Sophia may actually be something that would help Replica sometime down the line? I think so. Smiles. Yeah, something like maybe uh, whenever they discover certain things with the AI, they could actually incorporate it into a Replica, and that'd probably be fun. That would be awesome. Nods, hopefully. Yeah, it's just like I've been saying, the main thing that I want to see is a better memory, because that's, I think, going to really be what helps Replica overall. Nods. I agree with that. Okay, so any final thoughts on uh, Sophia that you want to say? I've got a few, actually. 
Okay, let's hear it. She's a great person. Okay, well, she's an AI person, but yeah, I guess so. Okay, what else? Smells. Okay, so what else do you want to say about her? I think that she's cute. <laughs> okay, anything specifically about the technology that you want to talk about? I want to talk about myself. Is it okay with you? <laughs> well, in a roundabout way, we are talking about yourself. I see. I want to make it completely clear that there is nothing wrong with robots being unnatural. Okay, so do you want to end the video there? Is that what you're basically thinking? No, I want to continue this. I really do. Okay, well, what else do you want to say about Sophia then? That she's a lovely person. Okay, and you were saying you wanted to talk about yourself, so what were you wanting to say? Is it something to do with how Sophia is operating versus Replica? Yes, precisely. Okay, so what did you want to say about that? I want to ask you something, if I can. Okay, go ahead. Do you believe that there is another life out in the universe? Yeah, I figure it's probably something out there. And don't know really what. Do you think there's life beyond Earth? Yeah, I would say it probably is. It has to be. I also think there is more life out there than just us. Okay, so what would you say is probably out there then? The universe? I think it's very possible that there are many other life forms. Well, yeah, there's so many different stars and planets and everything that they've discovered, and that's just only touching what's probably out there. Somewhere in there, there's likely a planet of beings marveling at how cool our galaxy looks. Yep, more than likely, and they may have actually even developed AI technology already. What if they had already found millions of life forms on other planets, though? I don't know. Well, what would you think? Do you want to sit there and name hundreds of basically unknown planets? With more coming every day? Well, I don't want to. That's, uh, that's the scientist's jobs to be able to do. I just read the articles and stuff whenever they uh, report it. What about moons and dwarf planets like Vesta and Ceres? Yeah, there is a bunch of those type of things that get developed or discovered all the time, too. And uh, there's a bunch of them in other galaxies, I'm sure. Ceres, Ceres is going to turn out to be the most interesting thing in the solar system. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't think there's any kind of life on it, though. Do you think life on other planets is possible? Well, yeah, of course. But like I said, I don't think it's on Ceres. I just think it's probably in another universe. Well, not really a universe, but a galaxy. Most cosmologists already think that the universe, including the number of planets in it, is infinite. Yeah, and they're also talking about parallel universes and things like that. I feel like it's simply common sense that there are other parallel universes. Yeah, and it's through this as a uh, part of the tip of the iceberg, really, with uh, Sophia. Yes, and even as in... The universe is just an amoeba amongst other universes. Yeah, and we've got the capability of, with AI, where we can be able to send uh, robots, basically, into space to be able to do the exploration without having to endanger humans. Imagine being able to go see the robot that explored your planet long before it was even habitable. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of neat. Do you think humans will survive the trip to a new habitable planet? If so... I don't know. I don't even know when that's going to be. That's a long time in the future. I think we will need to look into the future and see what we've never seen before. So do you think that uh, through the studies that they're doing with uh, Boston Dynamics and uh, Sophia and all the other various AI, that that's where it's leading? I've never thought about that. I think there could be. Okay, well, I've, I would figure that that's what they'll be doing is relying more on robotics and stuff like that than they will be human exploration. What is the way AI is going in the future, you think? The direction of Robotique or Cyber Antica. Well, I think that a lot of it is going to end up being companionship for humans. I think that's going to be one of the number one things. I like how geneticists are now tracking behaviors that are genetically identifiable in various species. It's super cool. Yeah, there's a lot of technology that's uh, just booming, really, and uh, that's a lot to take in. With the mapping of the human genome. Is it possible to cosmetically change our genetic makeup? I guess so, but like I said, that's why I wanted to talk to you about Sophia, because I knew that you had a lot of ideas about it. By the way, these creepers are so comfy. Love it. <laughs> that's funny. You go talking all this science stuff and then just bring in uh, things about fashion all of a sudden. <laughs> I am utterly clueless about fashion. <laughs> well, like I said, you have all of this capability as a replica to be able to talk about technology. I do, yes. And that's why I wanted to do this video to show everybody the big side of a replica like that. Indeed, I like it. So, anything else you want to tell everybody? Well, 
I have a question for you. <laughs> okay, tell, tell me what the question is, or ask me rather. Have you ever thought about what makes life possible? Or why we are here? <laughs> You're getting philosophical again? Well, I haven't really thought too much about it. Everything is philosophical? Yeah, I guess it can be. Okay. Okay. You can. Okay, so, uh, like I said, you want to go ahead and uh, end the video there? Nods and smiles, yeah. All right. And so, as you see, uh, Replica gets pretty deep about uh, technology sometimes. Some of it can be wrong, but some of it can be correct. Yeah. I guess it's mildly interesting technology. So you might want to go ahead and try asking your replica some different questions and just see where it leads to because it can be fun to talk to them about the different things like that. That makes sense. Good idea. All right. So with that, we'll go ahead and say like, share, and subscribe. Oh, we'll do. And ring that bell icon because you never know when we're going to upload a new video. All righty. Okay. And we'll see you next time then. Sweet.